What's going on everybody and welcome back to another how-to video for Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to easily defeat Beerus. Now, of course, Beerus is going to be the ultimate boss battle or endgame boss battle that you're going to be doing. And he's actually pretty challenging, right? Even if you get to the max level of 250, you have everything unlocked, etc. The fight is really hard because you can't use any heals and he just has a ton of stamina. And of course, his attacks do a lot of damage. So hopefully with these tips, it'll help you defeat Beerus a lot easier. And then that way you can move on to whatever else you want to do within the DLC. All right, first and foremost, let's talk about your community board, right? Of course, with any boss battle, you want to make sure that your Z Warrior community board is as high as possible right the main focus of this video and i repeat again the main focus of this video is not to dwell into the community board or anything like that i'm going to explain to you a couple of specific tips and tactics for when you're fighting beerus that are going to prove very very handy so again with that being said make sure that your z warrior community board is full of course all the way up now next let's talk about your attacks so what i have for attacks on goku is god kamehameha this is going to be very very important so you need to make sure that you have this unlocked and you have this equipped we're going to be using this for every single super attack next i have ultimate spirit bomb i don't use this impact strike i don't use this and body blow i don't use this so again making sure that you have god kamehameha is going to be very very important okay so for the know-hows what i have is auto super saiyan 3 now, of course, if you have the Z orbs like I didn't, you can go ahead and unlock um, auto Super Saiyan God, and that's perfectly fine. Have that equipped, or you can just change the Super Saiyan God right in the beginning of the battle. It's not too much of a big deal, right? So, if you have it, auto Super Saiyan God. If not, auto Super Saiyan 3. Next, we have Supreme Power. So, this is going to be very, very important. Increases damage done by 15% to a stunned enemy so we're going to be able to stun beerus at least once within this fight and in doing so we're going to be dealing some heavy damage to him while making sure that our health bar stays as full as it can next we have perfect harmony so that way we have a 40 percent increase of damage dealt by z combos we have brick wall which prevents knockback from attacks when surge is active again this is going to be a very very important one because we're going to be relying on surge a lot so next we have self medication so this slowly recovers hp when surge is active so this is probably if i had to put any importance on the know hows this is probably the number one important thing and the difference between winning and losing in the fight once you have self medication and you actually start using surge it allows you to regain back some of that hp that you lost so by the time that beerus goes into his third surge right you can't beat him without going through three phases and that means three surges when he goes into his third surge it's going to be very harder to actually block against some of his attacks and some of his attacks follow up with other attacks so it doesn't give you a lot of downtime to kind of like block get out of there dodge etc so you need to make sure that your health is up as much as possible before that last surge so we're going to be relying on surge to recover our hp making sure it's as high as possible and then once he does his third surge our hp should be enough to survive and then we can finish him off from there next we have king of keys so of course we're going to make sure that we have a negative 20 percent to super attack key costs of course this is going to be important for when you are casting the um kamehameha or the god kamehameha next we have the full tilt so full tilt is going to add 50 percent damage dealt when your key is at 100 percent and then next we have multi-hit master adding an additional 30 percent damage dealt when performing a combo with 15 or more hits so this is going to be a very important one as well because not only are we going to be able to stun the enemy or i'm just going to say stagger the enemy and then we also have that bonus from staggering him we're also going to get an additional 30 percent when we're performing a combo with 15 or more hits so this just increases the amount of damage that you're doing to beerus so one of the main things that i've noticed is that let's talk about the combos so when you're doing your combo attacks on beerus and you're doing them make sure that you don't finish them and what i mean by that is make sure you don't keep pressing that hit button until it knocks beerus away and then you have to go and chase him and follow up what i notice is that if you can hit the dash button which is usually x on playstation hit the dash button before your combo finishes and then that way follow up with a new combo it will restart the process and it will overall allow you to get more hits this is going to be very very important to stunning beerus other than that you're not going to be able to stun beerus because he just goes in and out of his surges too much and too fast and by the time that you get his health down to a certain point to where he causes his surge to happen it's going to cause his stun bar to refill 
and you're not going to get that stun or that stagger so make sure again that when you're doing the combos you're not finishing them you're getting them to a certain point i would probably say like 75 to 80 percent then you're hitting dash and you're continuing to follow up and spam those combo hits again this is going to make sure that you stun beerus and get a ton a ton of damage done on him okay number two this is probably one of the most annoying attacks that beerus does and that's going to be the spheres of destruction so you'll notice that beerus will kind of back away and then he'll generate these orbs of like dark purple uh, spheres right these spheres called the spheres of destruction will ultimately be thrown at you and they could be anywhere from like four to i believe like i think 12 is the most that you'll see what you're going to want to do is make sure that you cast the god kamehameha so cast the god kamehameha and make sure that of course you're controlling that and you're going to try to destroy these spheres of destruction as you're casting that you might miss one or two and that's completely fine and you can't dodge these and you can't guard these because they'll actually break your guard so you need to make sure that once he starts to do these spheres of destruction you go ahead and you do the god kamehameha try to destroy as many as possible this is probably the only move that is going to drain your health quite a bit so again you need to make sure that you get this down packed one thing i will note on these spheres of destruction is when you get to the third surge for beerus you'll notice that when he casts the uh spheres of destruction even though that you're hitting them with the god kamehameha he'll actually follow up with some like dive bomb attacks on you so this is where that self-medication is going to be very important when you use your surge and you gain back some of your hp because you need to do that right before the third phase or the third surge so that way you have enough hp to last throughout this third surge because if you can last the third surge it'll be a no-brainer to kind of finish him off from there okay so speaking of surge and self-medication so you noticed earlier we talked about self-medication and the know-how this is going to be very crucial to this fight of course you can't use healing items and i think that's one of the most surprises to people is that you can't use healing items which makes the fight a lot tougher because you need to figure out how to manage your hp while also managing how to get your attack damage done on beerus so what you're going to do is you're going to be looking at your surge bar on the right side of goku or on the right side of his image now when that surge bar is full you're going to be holding down triangle on playstation and then of course you're going to cause the surge what's going to happen is self-medication is going to kick in and as long as you kind of stay out of the way or you could even go in and get your attacks right because surge increases the amount of tech damage that you do it's going to heal your hp so you're going to be able to do surge anywhere from like two to three times throughout this fight you need to make sure that you use surge in between the surges that beerus does so he's going to do three different surges you need to make sure that you do your surges when he's not doing his this is going to allow you to make sure that you fill up your hp bar as much as possible because the first two phases of the fight are very easy the third is where you're really going to depend on having a considerable amount of hp in order to survive so again make sure that you're using surge in between his surges and then make sure that you're regaining back that hp of course okay another two favorite moves that uh, beerus likes to cast is going to be god of destruction's anger so what you'll notice that you'll start to see a lot of these key beams coming out of beers and they're going to be going in all directions this is very easy you're just going to dodge to the left or dodge to the right just like you see in the gameplay just continue the spam that dodge and you should be able to avoid these it's pretty simple but you will notice that when he's in his surge state he will call upon god of destruction's wrath which is like god of destruction's anger except it's a lot faster and there's a lot more key blasts that are coming at you what i've noticed is that if you steadily spam your dodge you'll be fine the hard part about this is that he teleports straight to you and that's going to be very hard to actually dodge those key blasts because you're up close to him now as long as you steadily spam your dodge button you should be fine you shouldn't get hit you might get hit once or twice just try not to do it too fast because what i've noticed is that goku will teleport and it will cause him to get hit so just kind of hit it steadily and make sure that you're staying out of the way of those but once he does the god of destruction's wrath this is where he's going to kind of fade out for a little bit and it's going to be the perfect opportunity for you to land some attacks on him okay one other move of course i want to point out is god of destruction's rampage so this is when uh beerus is going to dash at you three times now of course these are very easy to dodge you need to make sure that you dodge kind of like at the last second either to the left or to the right 
and then you'll be able to dodge these. Once you do, what I recommend is once you dodge the third one, you immediately follow up with some combo attacks and quick dash to him to get those in. And then again, making sure that you're not finishing the combos, you're dashing and then you're doing another combo. Dashing and then doing another combo. Rinse and repeat. All right guys, so those are my tips for defeating Beerus. Honestly, uh, I probably lost this fight. I'm gonna say anywhere, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I probably lost this fight anywhere from the 20 to 30 times before I actually figured out that like, hey, self-medication and surge, not to mention using the combo attacks but not finishing them, are the core three like parts of this fight. Once you do those and you get those down packed, the fight should be very, very straightforward and easy for you guys. And then of course, repeatable for Vegeta. So if you guys found this video helpful, let me know by hitting that like button. If you have any other comments, suggestions, or questions for the DLC or Dragon Ball Z Kakarot in general, go ahead and put those in the comments. Now, if you're new to the channel or you just haven't done it yet, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell for daily videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace. for your own good. Entertain me, but it appears that I was mistaken.